Newly crowned WBO Cruiserweight World Champion Alexander Usek will make his first defense of his title on December 17th at the Forum in Inglewood, California and that will be televised live on HBO World Championship Boxing. He will be taking on Tabiso Machunu, who is a slick South African southpaw. Some of you may remember that Machunu beat Eddie Chambers <clears throat> excuse me, a couple of years ago. And he also lost to, uh, what's the guy's name who Tony Belly just fought? Makabu, Ilunga, Ilunga Makabu. He was stopped by Makabu. I rate Machunu quite highly in terms of his skills and his athletic ability. I think he's by far the most athletically gifted cruiserweight in the world. And he's one of the best fighters technically as well in that division. The problem with Makabu and the problem I think he's going to have in this fight here with Usek is Usek is very skilled himself and he is way bigger. When I say bigger, I'm talking about taller, but probably in body mass as well, way bigger than uh, Machunu. Machunu on some sites is listed at 5'11". Let me tell you right now, that's a joke. Machunu is nowhere even close to 5'11". He's closer to 5'8 than 5'11". He's a very, very short cruiserweight. And when you're in there with somebody like Usek, who is skilled, who's six foot three, legitimately, who can move, who can box, I don't see how Machunu is going to get close to him. Machunu is not a pressure fighter. He's a guy who likes to fight on the back foot, counter punch, use his slick skills and what have you. And he is very gifted and talented. I mean, you look at the first half of the fight against Makabu. He was beating the crap out of Makabu in that fight. That was a one-sided fight for the first four or five rounds. Makabu was getting lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> In fact, it was maybe one of those situations where it was actually too easy for Makabu. And he probably threw too many punches trying to get the stoppage early on and ran out of gas. I think that's probably a fair reflection of what happened in the Machunu Makabu fight. He got a bit cocky and a bit arrogant thinking he could do what he wanted with Makabu. Makabu being very tough, weathered the storm and came on late to punish Machunu for uh, emptying the tank, basically, and not pacing himself properly. But anyway, back to this fight with Usek. I clearly see an Usek win here. Uh, Machunu is as skill, skilled as he is. He's too short. <laughs> Those skills are not going to be able to count when he's at the end of a jab. And Usek moves very well. So he's not going to be easy to track down, particularly for somebody like Machunu, who's not a pressure fighter. So he hasn't honed those skills that pressure fighters hone over the years of how to cut off the ring and how to cut down the distance very quickly and strike in an instant. He, he hasn't honed all those type of skills. So yeah, I see Usyk winning. As far as what this opponent is like from a credibility standpoint, I think it's a credible opponent. He's definitely not the strongest cruiserweight out there in terms of credibility, but he's credible. Yeah, you can't argue too much about Machunu. He's definitely credible. And this is obviously a move to try and sell Usek to the American public. HBO have got another Ukrainian in uh, Vasyl Lomachenko. And I believe Usek is... No, he's not trained by the same guy as Lomachenko because uh, Usek is trained by James Ali Bashir. But still... Uh, maybe they had the same amateur coach, whatever it was. They do have similar styles. So this is going to be a Usyk showcase, basically, in the United States to try and win over some fans over there. So let me know what you think about this fight. How do you see it going? Do you give Tabiso Machunu a better chance than me? Uh, maybe I'm selling him a little bit short here. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel. It's your boy Hatman. I'm out.